Oldham County Real Estate Market Update, November 2022. Hey, it's Darren Bailey with Caldwell Banker, and we're going to take a few minutes to take a look at the numbers um, that we just had in November. Uh, okay, so um, numbers are in. Uh, higher interest rates have definitely uh, impacted some of the numbers in a negative way. Uh, if you look, uh, closed sales compared to 2021, we're down 41%. Um, and uh, the number of listings creeped up. Uh, inventory went up about 29% from 92 up to 119. Um, so pending sales were off quite a bit as well. Um, we had 64 last year, 35 this year. So we're down 45% there. And then the uh, inventory is creeped up a little bit, uh, although still uh, not a ton out there. 45% uh, from 1.1 months up to 1.6 months. So, um, yeah, so not not the greatest news. Uh, but, um, you know, before we throw in the towel on the real estate market, there's still some uh, numbers that are encouraging uh, for sellers uh, still in this market. Uh, first days on market uh, here in the red. Uh, it did creep up 60%. However, that's only from five days on the market to eight days on the market. Uh, so homes that are properly priced are still selling, you know, on average within that first 10 days. If you look back uh, pre-pandemic 2019, uh, days on the market in November uh, were 58 and we're at eight today. So that's a, what, a little over seven times longer uh, to sell a home. Uh, next, um, even though the uh, inventory creeped up a little bit, uh, if you compare it to 2019 numbers, we're still down half of what um, the number of homes that were available to buyers on the market. Uh, they were in November of 2019, there were 267, so that we have 55% fewer listings right now uh, than we did back in 2019. Uh, and another thing, your median sales price and average sales price uh, for 2021 to 2022 is up 26% and up 30%, uh, which is which is big, which is huge. Uh, and still compared to 2019, it's still up 51% and 32%. Uh, so sellers are, you know, still getting good numbers um, for their house. Um, and then an another thing to look at is the uh, percentage of sales price. So uh, how much are the sellers getting compared to what they're listing it for? And on average in Oldham County, they're still getting 100% uh, of uh, sell to list price. Uh, we're back in 2019, they were getting just, uh, just, uh, just under um, well, say 2%, 2.1% less than what they were asking. So and on a $500,000 home, you know, they're getting about $10,000 less than, uh, than we are today. Um, so, so yeah, so there, there are some things, uh, that are, are headed in the wrong direction, um, uh, for, you know, for the market, but still in Oldham County right now, uh, there's still some opportunities for sellers. Um, if you want to find out how the change in the market uh, has impacted your home, uh, feel free to uh, uh, give me a call, uh, Darren Bailey, 502-807-5648, and I'll get you that information, or you can send me a message. Uh, if you want to find out instantly uh, through an automated process, you can go to oldhomehomevalue.com uh, and get an instant report on uh, where the market says uh, your home is valued right now. Uh, last thing, um, I've been in the process of breaking down all the sales in the uh, neighborhoods of Oldham County uh, over the past couple of weeks, and I've been putting them on my YouTube channel. Uh, right now, I've got, I think, over 70 uh, neighborhoods broken down and available uh, to take a look at. Um, so if you want to go to YouTube, go to the search bar and put in Darren Bailey Real Estate. That's Darren, D-A-R-E-N, Bailey Real Estate. Uh, and that should pull it right up. And you can see if your neighborhood's there. If your neighborhood's not there, send me a message and I'll get you that information. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch. And if I can ever do anything for you, uh, please reach out. Thanks. Have a great week.